Introduction Patrick Cuny, or the Trashback Killer, was a serial killer from the early 60s to the late 70s. He also shared the moniker Freeway Killer with two other men. He would often pick up young men and proceed to a secluded area before shooting them and sexually assaulting their bodies. He would dispose of the remains in canyons, landfills, and freeways usually in industrial trash bags. Early life. Patrick Cuny was born in East Los Angeles, California on September 24, 1939. He was the oldest of three sons and had a stable upbringing, despite the fact he suffered severe bullying. From a young age, he killed animals and frequently fantasized about killing people as an early teen. Upon graduating high school, he attended El Camino Community College and later on joined the U.S. Air Force. While in the Air Force, he would meet a man named David Hill, with whom he developed a romantic relationship after being discharged from the Air Force. The pair would split up after a year and this would commence Kearney's killing spree. Modus operandi Kearney would find men in gay bars or on freeways and offer them a ride. While driving, he would pull out a Derringer 22 pistol and shoot his victims in the side of the head. After sexually assaulting the bodies, he would dismember them with a hacksaw and stuff them into industrial trash bags. He would get rid of the bodies by ditching them in canyons, landfills, and near freeways. Kearney's first claim murder. Kearney's first victim was killed in spring of 1962. This victim is still unknown to this day. He picked him up on his motorcycle and drove to a secluded area, then shot the man in the head before sodomizing the corpse. His second victim was the younger cousin of his first. He would claim seven more victims through the years before getting back together with his ex-lover, David Hill, in 1967 and moved to Redondo Beach. Comparison to the other Freeway Killers Kearney shared the name Freeway Killer with two other unrelated serial killers, William Bonin and Randy Kraft. This was because some of his victims were disposed along freeways in Southern California, as did the other killers. Younger Victims This next part shows how disgusting of a human being Kearney really was. If you find yourself disturbed by the death of children, I suggest you head to the timestamp shown. Kearney's youngest victim was Dean Smith, a five-year-old who disappeared on the 24th of August, 1974, in Lenox, California. When his body was uncovered in Riverside County just a couple of months later, it was determined he was smothered to death. Merrill Hondo Chance was an eight-year-old who vanished while riding his bicycle on April 6, 1977. Kearney claims to have suffocated him and disposed of the remains in the Angeles Nation Forest off Angeles Crest Highway. His decomposing remains were discovered a month later. Kearney picked up a hitchhiker named Michael Craig on June 16, 1976. Michael Craig was a 13-year-old juvenile delinquent. Kearney invited him to a camping trip to Lake Elsinore, where he would end his life by shooting him in the head. Last Victims the victim who ultimately led to Kearney's arrest was John Otis LeMay, a 17-year-old who was killed on Sunday, March 13, 1977. LeMay had told a neighbor he was going to Redondo Beach to meet a man named Dave, whom he had met at a local gym. This was in fact David Hill, who had given LeMay the address to Kearney's home. Hill was absent when LeMay arrived. Kearney invited him to watch television until Hill returned. 
Without being provoked, Kearney impulsively reached for his pistol and shot LeMay in the back of the head. Kearney later dismembered the corpse and dumped the remains in the desert. Capture LeMay's remains were found on March 18, 1977. LeMay had been seen in the company of Kearney and Hill, and police had actually been to Kearney's home prior to another kidnapping and murder. Kearney knew the jig was up. Him and David Hill fled to El Paso, Texas. The families of Hill and Kearney persuaded them to turn themselves in. Kearney made a full confession, initially admitting to a total of 28 murders, and subsequently seven more. In order to avoid the death penalty, he agreed to plead guilty. The first murder Kearney confessed to and was convicted of was a killing that happened around winter time of 1968. While living in Culver City, the murder took place inside his Van Buren Avenue residence. According to Kearney, this victim was lured into his vehicle in San Diego and taken to his home and shot in the head moments after entering the house. He then dragged his victim to the bathroom where he was sodomized, then skinned and dismembered in the bathtub with an exacto knife. Kearney also extracted the bullet from the victim's head. He then buried the dismembered body behind his garage. Kearney was charged with 21 counts of murder. He was given 21 life sentences. Police are certain that Kearney was responsible for the other seven murders he had admitted to, but lacked the physical evidence to charge him. David Hill, 36 years old at the time, was eventually cleared of any involvement in Kearney's crimes and was released. Outro. That was the case with the trash bag killer. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, leave a like and a sub as they are always appreciated. If you have any case recommendations, don't hesitate to leave a comment down below. As always, have a good day, and remember, don't accept the rights from strangers.